Hi guys. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. What are your names? I'm Lizette. I'm and Caitlin. Caitlin. What is love? Oh, love. <laughs> well, I think that we were talking about love in terms of like your capacity to like love somebody else, with, like being as much the same as you, your ability to love yourself and jealousy and things like that. And if you have a certain amount of confidence in the person that you're, mm-hmm. or the your ability to be in that relationship, then you have. Are you saying are you saying that the person who is in love may not depend on the person who he or she loves? Right. Is that what you're saying? Neither right. physically nor spiritually. I think a good a good match is when two people. I mean, the most healthy of matches are when two people are in a relationship and have the ability to love the other person as much as they love themselves. Mm-hmm. And so you're not going to be dealing with a bunch of feelings like jealousy or inadequacy. Yeah, insecurity, which, that's where it has right. to start in yourself. Can right, love it because that's vanity. With jealousy, I mean, like, why Why a lot of cases you see, like, when the, when the two are in love, there, you need a either the man bit. or the woman, right? You need a little bit of jealousy. There's always going to be a little bit of jealousy. Because that motivates uh, love, yeah, that yeah, sparks definitely. love mm-hmm. every time it sparks. kind of fa- uh, yeah, fades but away. but there's also trust, you know, uh-huh. and love is like a feeling that you can trust somebody and trust yourself, and like it's, it's, it's so many actions, it's every little thing that you do, all the little things count with love, you love somebody, you think and about them, you put them first, and um, you know, you're still really confident in yourself, yeah, just put yourself in forward or put yourself second to that love can exist in situations where there's jealousy and um, but why is it jealousy towards the the physical the body well there was a theory you know like that like we as far as about sex earlier. wise right is that what you're saying right. when when the two people may may be spiritually in love right mm-hmm. but one of them tries to challenge love mm-hmm. right by introducing the third person into right. the relationship. Mm. Or maybe not introducing the third person into the relationship at all, but just needing to go experiment with other kinds of... You want to sit down? Sure. Okay. okay. <laughs> what, why... Okay, based on what are you telling me this? Like, what... Based on relationships is it, is it, that we've been Is it actually been the relationship that you've gone through? Mm-hmm. Yeah, certainly. Oh, of course. And your That's ability you to love and your ability to feel compassion for people who have yeah. made you angry or have hurt you. Uh-huh. You know, you, you can, love can change over time or distance. Love like, can change? Yeah. You're, it changes. What is you love? Can, what is can love? Can you tell me, like, like, for someone who doesn't, or maybe, like, you know what I mean? Like, in the sense that love. if someone never experienced love, right? right. Love is a necessity. Is, is love possible to have for a human being all his life, or is it just fragments of life? I think it depends on the human being. Okay. How, how, you mean like we, we all differ from each other as far as love is concerned? No, well, I think like it's a person who can... Um, a person's ability to like love life or have... Um, you know, relationships mm-hmm. and be have compassionate, loving relationships in their life. Like they have to have a certain perspective on, you know, how, you know, they have to feel like they're in their relationships are yeah. with people that they can trust and that they allow a certain amount of room for mistake and you know, just yeah. for life. All you have to have a respect for life. You know. Oh yeah. Okay, now you said trust quite a few times. Can the person love before he can trust? I mean, what comes first? You ever wondered? I mean, challenge it completely. Like I don't really need from to your know. own experience. You know, like like does love come first before trust, or is it rather trust and then love? I think trust comes after. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, it's uh, different levels. Like I think they probably play kind of a catch-up game, you know. Mm-hmm. Like you may trust someone to a certain degree, and then feel like you're. Yeah, uh, those two words are kind of interchangeable. It's, 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 it
different thing than love. I think that love is something that embodies trust, you know? Yeah. So it's like the more you trust someone, the more... The like gr- on a greater of scale, like a can you? Yeah, on a greater subset scale, can you like define your love? So it's secondary. Love. Yeah, it's yeah. in there. I mean, in it's kind of category. interesting. No, like it's, it's it's not. It's like primary. It's secondary. It's like really. I I can't see it like that for some reason. Not secondary. I don't think that that's the right word to use. But I think that the word love embodies it's like the concept yeah. of trust. You know, it embodies the concept of trust and the concept of respect and the concept like love is like an all-encompassing term yeah it's like it's like a level of comfort too like if you're comfortable with the person you can relax and you can that's when you trust them you can just let yourself be like oh you can breathe and be like i feel so comfortable with this person i don't need i don't have any worries i and then they're just being myself yeah and then there's sex and that's different Okay. You're talking about sex, oh. physical or uh, spiritual? Physical. <laughs> physical. Physically. But okay, and so what you're saying platonic love cannot exist. Is that what you're saying? You know, pl- plateau. Like a platonic yeah, relationship, platonic like when you just yeah, when you just love spiritually the and there's no sex kind see, of thing. See, like yeah, like uh, like the story of my life or our lives is we we're dancers, so we we uh, come across you know, like, uh, heterosexual, homosexual males, you know, <laughs> our mm. dancer friends, and we love them to death. Like we could see ourselves like marrying a bo- this boy, and but yet he's homosexual. You know, it's, they're beautiful. You know, and we that's the platonic. platonic love. You're talking about your spiritual connection like a, to a man who uh-huh. is homosexual or even a girl like I could yeah. love this girl uh, some one of my friends to death and do you, do you ever wonder why they like give out this wavelength of how can I say love maybe <laughs> you know like like, like like awareness they, they are completely aware of, of their sexuality themselves sexuality everything in the whole world in other words they, they are uh, they I mean I was once told that love is heightened sense of awareness. Mm-hmm. Whatever awareness it is, it's heightened sense of awareness. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. do you ever wonder why is it so when you see a homosexual or uh, you know a woman, a man homosexual or a woman homosexual, mm-hmm. right? Can can you say homosexual for women as well? Yeah. 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 Sure. So, why is it why is it that they there's like th- this flood of love coming from them. There isn't as always. To, is, it, is it because they they completely ignore this world as it is and they view the world through their own, you know, like childish that's eyes? Up is to that the, that's up to the person's perspective. See, because I, I don't think that I've seen that as much. Um, I don't see that they're more expressive of their love than like a normal heterosexual yeah. couple. I wouldn't say that homosexuals are more expressive with their love, you know, but I think it's up to the, like, what you see in this world is what you choose to see, Mm -hmm. you know? Okay, so, you said, you said before I asked you to, you know, to do this, Mm -hmm. you were just talking about something, can you tell me, what is it? We were talking, it's, we were talking about sex, actually, and, like, the, how love, you have to, like, the love emphasizes the, the sex, you know, you know, yeah, in the, the phys- in the physical oh. sense, in the physical sense of love, uh, it can like it, it actually is quite spiritual in a way. But yeah, it's, it's, it's like the, the the body and the mind, the, the heart chemical, and the like soul, you, everything. Yeah, when it's not just physical. It's not just you know right. screwing. You so know, it's someone kind of that I was in a, re- a loving relationship in, with, if I feel like if they were to go and have just a sexual relationship with someone else, I don't tend to ha- have so much jealousy about that because. I know that I love them on a level, I know that the reciprocity of the love we have is on a level that's connected here and here and, and you know, everywhere. Extra, and that's when it's mm-hmm. extra special and extra good and you feel it all over in your mind and body. And stuff it's like yeah. a, so, such a different experience than, uh, cause you're, you than when you're just in a sexual relationship with someone. Because you get to know that person so well and what they're all about, you feel their energy and just... It's like you, you become one oh. while mm-hmm. actually doing that. Act. Yeah. When I'm talking about like when when the spiritual and the physical connected, yeah. You ever wonder like when whenever you have sex like uh, when the, when I, the other yeah. person when you you don't really feel that the other person is spiritually connected to you, mm. it's kind of uh, kind plastic, of, yeah. You know? yeah, it's definitely. like this. Yeah. I mean, just uh, I don't know. 
Yeah. I never learned no it. Me personally. Satisfaction. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Yeah, I think, it's not, I think it's that even harms you. Yeah, it's I like, ugh, yeah. Doesn't it? It's like, I mean, I personally don't say like I'm as one with, I'm, in, I'm one with this person. I just say that I, it's like I'm me, he's him. We're something special together with, yeah. with, with two parts, you know. With, I don't think yeah. I'm like one, you know. Oh, yeah, it's not that. Yeah. It depends on how intense you want to get about it. Like, I think for most women our age in our 20s, like we're not trying to get so enmeshed in relationships and like to have to definitely view sex as something that deserves your respect and you know you're, you have to respect yourself because you have to protect yourself. But you also like, there's my birds. Yeah. Oh, those are your birds. Uh, my birds are ringing. Yeah. What what what? Anyway. Phone's what ringing. <laughs> oh. But it's, it's okay. like. I think that we try to, you know, just keep those respectful feelings about sex but not get too preoccupied or enmeshed with it, with it in our lives because we want to be successful and we don't want to be distracted by yeah. a really serious relationship. So yeah. what you're saying is materialism comes first. Successful in what way? What is success to you anyway? <laughs> it's making something of ourselves. I mean, successful in terms of your, like your, your goal or it's is not it the dream? It's, it's the dream. It's, it's our it's dream. It's dream. Taking, having, not, materialism doesn't exactly... Oh, because it doesn't we, mean success in terms of money or cars. No, we could like we were just saying the other day that money could, it, it's like, yeah, we could less about it because the dancers, performers don't get paid that much. It's, we're stru or starving artists. We're struggling. It's just a matter of the passion. that you're a working actor. Yeah. Like, it's our dream. It's that. like us being, you know, performing. What is your dream? Can you, can you just like My put dream. it in a couple of words? Like, what is... What is it mean? What? It's, it's like, it's, I know it's like such a big word for like it's a deep it's my crew. It's, question, my, it's, it's it another not? one of those words that embodies it's a whole bunch of other different concepts. Yeah, it's like I want to see myself. You know, I define defining my defining myself through my passion. Yeah, through define my dancing. yourself through your passion. Defining myself right? through my passion through what, my dancing. What kind of I dance. Is that? I've studied dance since I was three years old. I danced flamenco and. Um, well, Flody I did that when I was little in ballet, tap, jazz. I got into modern dance, and that's like my passion. That is what I love. That's like so this love. Is ballet. I think of love and like I love that. That's like, oh, that's that's see, that's what love is. That's something that makes yeah. me like, oh, how do I explain this? Like yeah. it's just such a deep passion that when I'm on that stage, it. it's you know it it, it it takes over me physically, spiritually. Like I love being like in this movement and dancing, and it, that's my dream to be on a stage dancing for a lot, you know, as long as I can, as long as my body is physically functioning <laughs> and doing, okay. you know, now, doing that. Now, that's your dream in terms of this is, this is where you're going towards, or is it I'm the doing, dream I'm that the you want to leave? Dream you know what I mean? Is it, is it the journey I, or is it the destination? That's it's the I'm journey. It's the journey. It's the journey that counts. Definitely the journey, and it's a never-ending journey. Never-ending. Yeah. Even when you're successful in, in a a company or when you're successful in a yeah. movie or on stage, you're still working with yourself. You're still Yeah, because if you think you know everything about your craft then you don't. You're, you're never done. done. So yeah. what you're saying there's no there's never a person who has accomplished his craft to a point who is uh, how can I put it? To a point where they they have no more to learn. Yeah. You then are you always then, then you are a master. Then that's not possible. How how is that? Well, I mean, not, what well, you think? What you saying? I don't think a master would consider himself to be a master. No. That's another matter of perspective. Nobody's really. Perfect. Like you ever wonder why why the person who who gets like who excels at certain point and then he or she does not get satisfaction from learning anymore, so he or she wants to share else? and give it, so he or she becomes a teacher, a teacher. of that particular craft. And yet oh, yeah. again, he or she learns still through the pupils. Exactly. That's how. That's what, exactly what dance and, and theater is all about. You're still learning as even as you are teaching and yeah. you know choreographing your movement on somebody, and you see that something happen, and you're like, oh wow, that was amazing. I haven't seen anything like that before. And you get all these ideas. It's a process, and yeah, teachers learn from their students every day. Now, about their you craft. can apply this to life though only when you are st on stage. Yeah, that's nice. Um. It's the same with life. You know, parents teach their kids. They raise them. They love them. You know, they nurture them. Nurture them. Mm -hmm. But yet, you know, the parents are, are still learning yeah. as they go and, and learning from their children and children learning from their parents. It's everywhere. It's, got, it's, it's so amazing. It is everywhere. 
It's love. Love. So what is love? Can you just <laughs> love is life. It's, it's so, there's it, love is so many words. Are love you from is New York? Are you from New York? Uh, you're not. Where are you from, guys? Yeah, both of you are I'm not. From, I'm from Texas. You're from Texas. I'm yeah. from Colorado. Colorado. And you came to New York to to, to uh, do our craft, to, to advance dance. your skills and right. mm -hmm. I see. And all for what? Love. <laughs> love. <laughs> wow. Love. <laughs> It all goes back yeah. to love. <laughs> all goes back to love. Yeah, yeah because we, I, we actually both left relationships to come here. And really? We, so you sacrificed? We were in yeah. love with somebody. You really? We were. Yeah, but you have to... So what you're saying, was it, was it that sincere love? I mean, was it that deep of a love? I mean, can you deep. call it love, or is it just a, a crush? I think that it's just like a child. Something that you, that relationship, if you had continued to nurture it, if it's what you wanted, then yes, I think that love can love can change. But we wanted to nurture this instead, our this self, pursuit of this hearts. dream, and become the best. I mean, I still love. I like. I like. I think that it's important to experience relationships and yeah. other facets of life before you really decide that you want to. Yeah, because marriage is still something that I just can't see right now in my life. But why is it why is it that everyone craves for love? Why? What would life be without it? If someone would not Well, I mean, there, can you we, see love? there you can't really seek love. It's it's completely uh hateful, right? I mean it's like you can't really like I don't search know, I for think it, right? If you wanna the be more loved, you, the more you look for it, the more you feel like you're like the um, more you lonely, don't know it or something. The more right? it's like unexpected, it like well to me it seems to happen when I don't expect it. Yeah. But it's also like when you're ready for it, or when it needs to happen. I don't know, for me it always happens when I don't want it to happen, but it's for some reason you attract it into your life at the strangest times. And it's nice, you know? Yeah. It's great to so yeah, we were feel loved, to feel like you've met your match, you know, to feel like you've met somebody who yeah. can like... But how do you know, how do you know for sure? Like a best friend who can like get like you I off. don't know. If you, when do you know for sure? Even people that are married, like, yeah. do they really know? Yeah, well, that's why I the think divorce rate too. has gone up so high in the past few years. Right. Let me ask you a question. Have oh, you yeah. noticed that in New York, the souls of the people are somewhat frozen because everyone is determined towards some goal? I cannot really call it the dream mm -hmm. because, I mean, anything that you go for yeah. towards as far as materialism, you know, as far as gaining security, right? I mean, speaking of security, is this world secure if you really look at it? No. Can you find security in this world? The whole that's another thing the that world is, are is floating about. in space. I mean, how is this secure? How is it protected from any anything, right? Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes you know, it makes me wonder why do fly, people like security. Like I don't understand why a hunk of metal can fly through the air, but still the chances of it crashing are, you know, like slim to none. So there's just some things that are. Why does it? Would it feel good to? Why is security something? That God, because yeah. you have more time to get drunk and laugh. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> when everyone you is have in love, time, you when have everyone to loves everyone, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. Right, go then, back. Then yeah. when the concept of getting call. high diminishes. I'm talking about like getting high from right. substances. Yeah. Because you are high yeah. naturally. Yeah. That, I know. You ever wonder? Uh, yeah. That would be It just great. enhances it. Because, yeah, we, our, our society is engulfed in this. I think that we're Go on get them. Yeah. You know, they're still, like... I was talking to my therapist about that. She and she, we were talking about, like, how some, Who is you it? know, what? masters of meditation... Her therapist. Can, therapist? Well, I was talking to a woman that I talked to about these kinds of things. Okay, and we were okay, talking okay. about how some, right, right, right. you know, okay. yogis can be, actually, physically be at two places at the same time. And how some people, their consciousness... They are vibrating on a certain level that is like that evolves, and just I was like, God, maybe we're, maybe this is the next step in evolution. Maybe we're like mutating, and all the ones of us who are just stupid and you know getting drunk and high all the time are just gonna die off. Right, 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 right. And <laughs> have you noticed the the pattern? The people who uh, try to get more from life through substance yeah. usually leave this world earlier than the ones. Uh -huh. That get get that life 
from love. Get yeah. light from love. You know what well, I mean? Like, what, about, what about successful businessmen and women who are you think they have all the work, life? all work, Do and no really love? Do you really think they? Because it's sacrifice. Think about it. It's like let me give you an example. Someone who who strives for becoming a celebrity, for instance, right? Mm -hmm. He or she gives out, sacrifices the fact that he or she will not come back to the uh, things that life gave them before they became celebrities. So they do not have. Have you noticed why a lot of celebrities, uh, why why not a writer, for instance, right? Or a lot of celebrities. Have you probably heard that? They take painkillers or things like that. Yeah, they Why? get addicted to painkillers. Because, because whenever they are not at work, they stagnate. Mm -hmm. you, you following what I'm saying? Uh. They they do not know where to apply themselves. Mm -hmm. So if they go into life as they knew it before, mm -hmm. then everyone runs after them because, oh, they're celebrities, you know what I mean? They somewhat yeah. made it. So they cannot do that. Why? Because they've given it up for celebrity lifestyle. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So they're not they're as never, free. They're never, yeah, they're not they don't as have time. free never as, say, you and me. Right. Yeah, definitely. That's true. Um, what is freedom? It's like. But free, then freedom. again, there are some celebrities who really get out of that limelight and don't. And you know, return they, into. Or they use their they use their connection to the world to like promote other healthy ways of living or you know they donate to charities. You, how can you if you cannot come to the common denominator? You know what I mean? It's like they still consider well, themselves some wow, celebrities you know, someone, don't you know what do I mean? drugs, you know? What's that? <laughs> like just because you're famous doesn't necessarily oh, no. mean that you're no, that I'm you're not saying everyone. To substances. Yeah. Right. But um, you're you're right. I mean a lot of musicians and and, and artists and celebrities it's a very have fallen vain into that craft to to like I'm an artist, I never, I, I never been exposed. To, I mean, it's like for me, uh, substance. I don't know. Like, since I get so high passionate. from life about it. Yeah, well, people, <laughs> I love, people. You know, I, I haven't experienced. I, I will, you know, let you in on a little secret. I haven't experienced love as, like, like to one person, like just one person. Mm -hmm. But I love everything around. Yeah. I love every single speck of life. Yeah. Anything that's within my experience. Yeah, you're every man as opposed to one man. It's like right. I love everything that that life has given me, right. and I mean it's somewhat selfish because it's like when the two people are in love, they somewhat forget about the life around mm -hmm. them. You know what I mean? It's like it's like they're in some kind of bubble. Yeah. You ever wonder? Yeah, uh, I've felt yeah. that way before. It's like the two children going through life and completely trusting, completely open to everyone, but everyone's like, looking, wow, what's wrong with them? And that's why, you know what I mean? That's why. Uh, the people who can see the two in love, they somewhat envy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because those are the two who are high naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess yeah, it is kind is of a high. healthier subject to like. Yeah. To love, love, love everything around you, and love like if you were high. getting that back in in your own life, I mean, you're putting that out there. I mean, you're loving everything. You're getting that back. You know. I mean, that's just the law of attraction, like everything, you're probably surrounded in abundance of love all the time, whereas that's a choice, you know, it's a choice, and like... Choice, speaking of choices, well, what do you mean by choice? <laughs> it's a, everything is a choice. I like cling to the keyword. You yeah. have to know that, that, well, I mean, I wrap your head around the concept. I feel, I truly believe that everything here in this that is around me right now is a manifestation that I've created through some choice that I've made. I For see. some, like, the reason, like, if I feel like, like I'm struggling, I've made it this way, you know, I've, I've chosen to be life. that way. I've told myself that that's <coughs> what I am, and somehow I've defined myself through the tangible things that are around me. It's the same thing with, um, you know, there's, there's reasons why you, you know, when you don't feel like you're in a, st a state of well-being, and this goes right back to substance, like, I can use a relationship to, to, to run, or substances to run, you know, I have the occasional drink, and I, you know, I, you know, I smoke pot every now and then. Yeah. And like well, let me ask you a question. Do you think it was your choice to be born? Yeah, I kind of do, actually. In a way, yeah. I, I really think about do. It. Can you can like you how think of it on that level, like on the sperm level, like oh, the sperm going and you know, I as they say, it's like 
they, they fight. Like there's some sort of energy, fight. some sort of yeah, and, some uh, sort of the energy. survival of the fittest kind of. Uh, so somehow you had to that yeah. had to be manifested. I totally believe oh, that. Oh yeah, because we are all these certain energies, and we and like our choices through life yeah. make us who we are and make us oh. where we where we are. Yeah. And I think oh, that it's, it's well, not all yeah. something I think no, that is like my true like subconscious passion that I don't that I have love for that I'm not sure about yet is that one day I think you know I'm here on this planet to really learn how to how to manipulate my choices and to raise my thoughts mm -hmm. and to you know really like meditate and choose and if it doesn't happen in this lifetime in the next lifetime or in the next plane mm -hmm. you know that I exist in yeah is time important is time important yeah if it, if it holds importance to you, I think so. I think that or to you. Well, once again, yes. the society is in time is around time. time. Time has been something that mostly. It's like, how am I going like to go to my? City is how like are you going to go to the dance class and go to the gym and eat lunch and then make it to work on time? And mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, on but time. I get, I, mm -hmm. I definitely, I get very, very caught up in like material limits of time and yeah, time you know, and money and uh, yeah, yeah, all like of it, all of it. And like uh, super, how society can be, how relationships can be superficial. And you may, when you sit down and have the knowledge that like all of that really isn't that important, you should pra start practicing love on like a, a greater, more wider plane and do more listening and observing and less actual, you know, acting out in your own life. Then, I mean, it's just, it's a different way of thinking.